Hey y'all, come on in. It's poor set and set Sunday. It's another day and another chance to sparkle. So keep a sparkle in your eye and a sparkle in your heart because it makes you beautiful. So happy to see y'all today. We've been without electricity. We had a bad storm here yesterday, a wind storm, and it brought down uh, electricity lines and we was without electricity it even took off the uh, shingles off our house so we've been in a mess here we're still in a mess we've got screens out screens out uh, I had a blanket out here it's we still got a lot of cleanup to do but we'll get it done yes we will let me show you the mountains before I forget. I'm down in my back, but I'm still, I had to get out here for y'all. And um, I'm down in my knee. I don't know what's going on. But there's the mountains. Look, there's sun just up on the horizon. But we are budding out. I know y'all can't see it on, on, um, let me see if I can get it over there. You can't see it on the no, you can't see where it's turning green. I, maybe some bits. I don't know. Maybe bits. I don't know. But anyway, the yards are greening up. Everything is looking so pretty and gorgeous. And hope y'all been doing good. Lord, I got a lot of, a lot of, um, blush there, don't I? But I hope y'all been doing good. I hope hope you've had a good week and a good weekend our weekend and week is starting our weekend started off good but it ended up bad because yesterday we had that wind storm and I mean I bet you the winds was at least 70 miles an hour or more probably more because it blew stuff off my porch and you know we're up high and it blew stuff off my porch over the banisters um, it turned my rocking chair upside down out in the yard. We got to get it yet. My husband just hasn't felt good and hasn't got able to, and I haven't been able to with my knee and my back. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know if it's because it turned cold, and I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter now. I'm here with you all, and uh, I hope you got your coffee. I hope you got your tea or whatever you like to drink. I got my reading spectacles up on my little bit of hair but anyway let's just talk about about something oh something ow nice <laughs> let's tell a story let's get to it I want to tell a story about when my kids was little and about it's an it's a story I think I've already told y'all I got my lips done yesterday for my anniversary I don't think you can tell anything yet because she done something to um, bring up my uh, downturn here. She said she hoped she couldn't guarantee me anything, but I told her I didn't like the way my mouth turned down. So she took care of that, done something, but it takes seven to ten days to see anything. Now, she went, I couldn't... Um, um, film because I forgot my camera and so I couldn't film and I forgot to ask her I know her real real well me and her used to work together years and years ago probably 25 years ago we got in trouble together actually for something and one day I'll tell you that story but anyway I want to tell you a story about my kids when they anyway this was called a lip flip it's non-invasive it's just a little botox to flip up the lip but anyway um it's the first time i've had anything done and i'm hoping it works she said it takes it seven to ten days to to fully do what it's going to do okay um and it was dirt cheap for me so um I wanted to tell a story about when my kids was all real little, and and even though it's springtime, I want to tell you about this Christmas time. Um, story. 
it brings back so many good memories. I'm not crying from being sad, but um, it brings back good memories for my children. And my son don't want to bring anybody down. And I'm sorry for crying. But this was a memory, uh, this Christmas in particular. We had bought my son, I mean my daughters, we had bought all of them. We would bought them each a piece of furniture that was the little kitchen things. Well, we bought a sink, a refrigerator, a stove, and back then they weren't plastic, they were wooden. And then we bought the little Barbie table and chairs. And we sneaked it into their bedroom, you know, and and put it all along the wall and put their little chair right in the middle of the room and, you know, where their beds were. And they had a pretty good-sized room. The two youngest ones is who we bought it for. Um, and um, we took and um, they had little... Um, they had little little beds in their rooms because they were little, and uh, they were like the little youth beds. And um, they all four disappeared. My son, I think, at the time, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of how old he was. He was probably, I want to say, maybe seven or eight, maybe around there. And then my oldest daughter was just two years younger than him, so she was about five. So he was about seven, I think. And um, the other two was three and two. Two and three, yeah. And just barely two and three. And uh, anyway, um, my last two, they're the same age for a while. They're getting ready to have birthdays. And I guess that's why I'm, um, I wish they were all little again. But anyway, um, they all went missing. You know, if two was gone, there was usually two in the living room with us. And all of a sudden, they were all four gone at the same time. And I snuck back through the hall and looked in the room and they were playing house and my son was the dad, and the, my oldest daughter was the mom, and um, the two little ones was the babies. And they were having dinner, and dad, the dad of, you know, they were playing house, and dad was at the head of the table, and mom was at the other end at the head of the table. And about the time I looked through the door, my son said, bow your heads and close your eyes, and he bowed his head and he closed his eyes, and they did what he told them to do, and he started praying. He had his little hands up. I can't put, I might be able to set y'all down. He had his little hands up like this with his eyes closed, and he started praying and blessing and blessing their food. And that made me so happy to know that they had watched and knew that they needed to pray over their food. So I knew that I had taught them right. And my husband didn't go to church at that time, but I had always told him that the man is supposed to pray too. So I just wanted to tell you that story. I'm so sorry I cried and brought you down. I didn't mean to bring you down. And don't be sad. Be happy. Because this is the happy memory I have. And today I've been in my, what they call your fields. I've been in my fields all day. I've been, I guess I'm sad because my daughters are getting older and um, my son's not here to be with them. And um, I guess that bothers me. So anyway, um, and I've been thinking a lot about different people that come into my life and um, that's left my life and 
It doesn't want anything to do with me. And um, those that have passed, and I just um, been in my feels today, and I'm so sorry. Um, I'm just happy that I got to finally make a video because we've had company. Rainy's brother was here and um, his wife and daughter, and that tickled me to death to have them because we don't get company, and I begged them to stay, and they, they had to get home because they babysit two of their granddaughters, so they had to get home to be able to watch their granddaughters. So I wish they could have stayed just one more night, you know, because his brother's getting older, and he doesn't have but two brothers left and one sister. Out of 13 of them, that's all he has left. And and I, you know, that, that's that been my family for 50 years. Um, we're coming up on our 50th wedding anniversary, April the 6th. And um, my grandson turns 14 tomorrow, the one that I'm raising, that, the youngest one that me and my husband are raising. So they're all just growing up and we're getting older and and um, I guess I'm letting that get to me a little bit. And I, I'm thinking back on when my children were little and I miss that. But I have happy memories. I have a lot of happy memories. So I hope you all enjoyed this story and I hope it didn't bring you down too bad. I hope to see you again. Next Sunday, it's Easter Sunday, and I'm doing a collab with Kathy A. Beauty and Lifestyle, and I hope you all will drop by and see that video and go and watch hers when we when we make it. I wanted to let you know a, a week ahead of time. I think I mentioned it last Sunday, but I hope you all will come by and see what we're talking about. A lot of good memories. Some pictures. I'll be showing you some pictures of my brother and sisters that I grew up with and how we dressed for Easter, how Mom dressed us for Easter, and things that we did at Easter time at Grandma's, and, and things that Mom did and Dad did for us at Easter time. So I hope you'll drop by next Sunday and see us. It's going to be a happy time and going to be a time to celebrate. So I'll see you then, and you all don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're always doing something here. We're always crying here. <laughs> or we're always laughing here. We're always doing something in exciting. And we're going to be doing a lot more exciting things. So I'll be doing a video on Tuesday. I'm sorry I didn't get to do one this Tuesday. But like I said, we had company. And um, y'all pray for me. Pray for our family. Um, his sister is in a nursing home now and she's going through rehab so pray that she gets to go home she really wants to go home so you all pray for her pray for our family and pray for for peace in this country peace in this world so i love you guys and i hope to see you next sunday give me a thumbs up if you like this story and share me around because i want to travel and you're the only way i'm going to get to i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye don't forget at the end of every storm is a beautiful rainbow. You're my rainbow. Bye. I love you guys. Bye.